Welcome back to Sable. We're quite a bit of Sable today. First game or games didn't take that long. Though I'm I'm kind of wondering like how much more we have in this game, but I guess there's probably quite a few streams counting all the chums and stuff, but we don't have too much too much left in terms of just the game, the story. And yeah, I did look into this thing and it's kind of a stretch. Apparently, you're not supposed to climb up here, even though I, I feel like we probably could if I got a good bike jump and just, like, flew up high enough and then climbed diagonally. I think I actually could do it, but that would not be the intended way. Is it louder than normal? This game sounds very loud all of a sudden. Hold on. No? Volume is how it should be normally, I think. Hmm. I guess this bike is just pretty loud. So yeah, apparently there's just something to this whole worm thing. And like, I, I thought there was something to the worm, but I just thought it would be like a quest or something that you would get later on that someone would tell you about. Not that it was a puzzle in and of itself, and kind of a stretch of a puzzle. Like, it makes sense once you know exactly what to do and why you should do it, but it's... it's a little odd. One of the more, like, convoluted things, I feel. I guess I should just always be climbing diagonally. So how do we get in here the best way? Some weird sounds going on. So, here is apparently a puzzle. Here I am. You told me to look to Pirasta when I had lost it all, and here I am with nothing and no one, alone at the end of all my failures. We've already read this, but let's read it again. I will sit and think for a while. Perhaps something will come to me. Otherwise, I look to fall. Anna, I know you won't... You won't want to hear me. I know you won't want to hear me, but I have to tell you. Pirasta spoke to me. In a voice like rolling thunder and late evening shivers, she shook my bones and told me there's more to this than I know, and that I must look inside the statue. I have no way inside, but I will find one. Where I am bidden go by Pirasta's whim, there I will walk in her great shadow. No? That doesn't mention anything of what I thought it mentioned. I don't I don't know how you're meant to make this connection. I I don't get it. Because apparently what you're supposed to do is whistle. And this happens. And then we put this down here, I guess? But, like, I, I, I thought someone said that, like, oh, the journal mentions something about, like, whistling or making noise or singing or something. But no? No, it does not. So I, I don't really understand. I don't know if you're supposed to get that hint from elsewhere, if someone else mentioned something about that? Because, yeah, that's... That's a bit sketchy. More written notes. It seems they managed to get inside, too. 
Aha, I'm inside, I got inside. And I see now in this gaping darkness why Parasta beckoned me. There's a secret here she wished me to know, and it's so much more than I ever imagined. This place, this creature, she is alive. Not in the way of you and I, no, but in the way of slow and aged things, breathing and thriving at a pace invisible to those who live as quickly and as briefly as us. Like a wise old tree or a map of mushrooms below the earth, living and decaying all at once for centuries, she's alive. I think I can press on and go further in. I don't know if I can return the way I came, but so few stories are told of those who walk back along their own footsteps. I will find a way through to the other side. Wind thunder or whatever it said might mean whistle. No, I don't believe that. That's such a stretch. Like, it said she spoke to me in like a low rumble, like the wind or thunder. Why would you assume that low rumble meant you should whistle at it? I don't know. That, that just does not really connect those dots in my mind. There are a few scraps made unreadable by wear, but I find a later entry that is just about legible, though it takes me several reads and a few missteps to sort it out. Relatable. The word gurgling stops me for a moment, and I see it as giggling and grinding before it makes sense. I've been camped here for two days now, Anna. It is warm in here, and the air is old and damp, but there is a nice salt in it too. My skin feels better inside this place than on the unforgiving dunes. In my explorations, I have dropped some unimportant things down into Parasta. Rocks, small and large, a beetle. I wonder, should I descend further and go below myself? The voice of Parasta calls to me, but she is drowned out by other noises of rushing water and a deep, resonant giggling. Yeah, it all sings, and more and more I yearn. There are lines of scribbles over whatever was written next, and then it resumes. What have I got to lose? I will leap into the darkness. If I don't return, then know this. I love you, Anna. Great. I'll do the same. Yeah, I certainly feel like this could have used some more uh, clarity to it. And I know there were a lot of people complaining about this too. In the threads I saw. Oh. Gastric bypass. Traverse a hidden cavern. But we can't, like, dive down. I thought that would, like, lower... Oh! Got the glitch! thought that would lower the water a little bit, but no. Yeah, it's a Pinocchio moment. Into Monstro we go. Or Jabu Jabu, of course. I mean, surely Jabu Jabu was inspired by Pinocchio, right? I don't know. But then again, maybe Pinocchio was inspired by, like, what, Noah and the whale? I don't know, like, what the earliest tale of a man being swallowed by a giant sea monster and living in there? Which was the original? Yeah, this is very Jabu Jabu. It's very uh, stuttery as well. Ew, I touched the stomach water. Damn it. sure what you're saying guts puzzles have it to move the bits of whatever to those pools huh this piece of damp and mold creeps this piece is damp and mold creeps at its edges Anna I've fallen so far down slipping and sliding plunging for an eternity what things I saw in the blur of the walls as they sped past me what secrets I heard in the whispers of the rushing wind 
Anna, 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 if only you could know. If if you could only know. If you could only see. But Perasta's voice is not for all to hear. At the end of my fall, I found myself in a new world. And I have lived in this place for half a day now. I can see why she called to me. She is a god, but she is crying for help. Typical. Believing you're special when it's all but a coincidence. So how do we deal with this then? Can we use these or something? I guess we just like put one here then throw one through. Stop. Stop. Get out. Jesus. It's gonna close. Okay, there we go. I guess I can go in as well. Yep. Yeah. Oh my god, those stutters are really bad. Oh, it's like every step. Oh my god. Audio, please. Man, I wish they fixed up this game. Parasta Grey Die. I don't know, it just like has so many obvious issues that you would you'd feel you would fix. When everything else is so nice. I found another excerpt from the diary. Anna, I live, but it is a sorry life. I have lost her voice down here, and now it is only dampness and rot in the silence. A single drip at the end of a tunnel hits like... It stops abruptly halfway through a sentence, and when it resumes, the script appears hastier than it ever has. Anna, you will not believe it! Oh my love, my cherished, cherished one! That was the secret! It is when I am lost that she finds me, Anna, for what is Parasa but a helper of those in need? What a fool I am! How stupid! Uh-huh. I quite nearly gave up, but I've just heard her again. I know what she wants. She is so, so hungry. Totally sane individual. So now what? How are we gonna, like, make use of these? It does open that, but I assume we want to, like, run over here? Ah, uh, no, I'm not gonna be in time. Hmm. How do we get up there? Guess I can just climb? Yeah, maybe here instead? Try that. Yeah, there we go. Oh, was that just how you were meant to get this chest? Well, that was unnecessary. That feels like that would have been if you couldn't climb on the walls. But why did they make the walls climbable in that case? If that's how you're meant to get it. Stop. Don't. God damn it. Don't get stuck. I'm not going to have time now. Oh my god. Stop getting stuck. Jesus Christ. And then I didn't get a sprint. That is so annoying. Holy crap. That was just obnoxious. Just jank physics causing me to lose that. Seemingly no chums in here, at least. I don't know how long this goes on for. I thought it would just be like a very short thing. So why am I lowering the water here? What is that going to do?
not sure what the oh I see yeah what the point is okay Well, I mean, I can just use this, right? Please, with a janky physics! Oh my god, it's so annoying. There we go. All that for 20 cuts. Totally worth it. Now what? I, I can't even like get up after accidentally dropping down. Oh, here. Twenty more. Fantastic. And more journals. Now this just keeps on going. Looks like you're swimming in a sewer while well, it's inside of a giant worm. This is like... Stomach acid. It's great. A new note written in a shaky, childlike script. My heart goes cold at the sight of it, like I've seen something too vulnerable and cannot help. So the camels were not enough, Pirasta. What more do you need? I've given you my all and still you ask more of me. How did you get out and get back in with camels? How did you get camels up there? All of those winches and stuff, I guess? Oh, you are a beautiful and exquisite god, but you are also a needful and tricky one. I am catching wise to your true meaning, my beloved. Jesus Christ. I will give you what you ask, with boundless weeping joy. Uh-huh. Oops. Surely there's something here? No? Is that where I came in? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, weird. Guess there's no point here. Did I need one of these? I don't remember needing one of these. Can't crouch while handling, handling them either. But we can't kick them like a football. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh, I'm sure you can, like, glitch out by doing that. Picking something up while you're crouched to then, like, clip outside of a tunnel or whatever. Looks like I actually needed to do that. Good thing I did. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh. Never mind. Oh. So then what exactly is happening here? Ah. Not sure what that is. So we just have to get another one over here, but how? Where to go? What? I just lost my my ball. Whatever these are supposed to be, worm pellets. I'm not going to be able to walk this entire thing, am I? Or maybe that's just to see it. So now I know I can walk here. Yeah, okay. All right, that's kind of cool. Did I miss anything else, though? No. Yeah, this just keeps on going. I thought we would just, like, immediately get up onto that island with the chum. Or, like, the plateau. But I guess it's over now. 
The shrine, if it can be called that, sends chills down my spine. I feel in the presence of something, but whatever it is, it is no god. There's something carved into a piece of wood, and it reads like an incantation. I submerge myself, Parasta, into the depths of you. Of my body, build yourself, that you might live anew. Above the incantation sits a mask, repulsive and scarred. It looks to be made from a baby sandworm. Are the teeth in its mouth real? In the darkness I listen, trying to hear whatever the writer believed was Parasta's voice. There is nothing. Take the mask, of course! It's mine! I reach forward and take the mask from the stand. I step away from the platform. I should look for a way out. Hooray! We got Worm Mask! A rancid smelling thing when worn, somehow made from the flesh of a dead sandworm. A definite sense of discomfort seems to come over people when wearing it. Great! It's floppy! Jiggle physics! Just what Sable needed. Alright. I don't know what these are, like... They look like bells or something, but... I don't know what those are supposed to be. Boo? Supposed to be? Yeah, so there we go. That was like a little mini dungeon. Definitely the most like Zelda dungeon feeling thing in this game. That and that like temple where we first got the the Ibexi mask. Those felt very like Zelda like. I think I can hold in one this. Nice. Or I guess that's more of a three-pointer. Here we go. Great! We're up, and we're free. Are you gonna go down again? No? Yeah, now we just escaped out the worm's butt. But maybe this is its mouth. You never know. Oh boy. Voice not doing too hot. I made the mistake of recording, like, an hour of Rain World right before the stream. So, uh... More text than usual. I need some tea. Wait, hold on. Dragonfly or something. Oasis Dragonfly. That chum was one hell of a pain in the ass. Literally, I guess. For some. I am kind of curious, though. What if we just go back again? Come on. Come on, grab it. I can't get this thing. There we go. Since this is now filled permanently, what if we go in the worm again? It's going to take so long, but I kind of want to try it. Oh no. I've been whistling too much, now Simoon doesn't care for me anymore. I kept whistling and Simoon couldn't get to me, so she just gave up. How many more chums to get? I don't know. Have we seen that? I think someone mentioned it. 
like the max was like I, I don't know. I don't think you can know in the game. It was like 120 something, maybe. 165, Jesus, okay. I'm not even close. So yeah, that's gonna take a while. Even though we have so much stamina, it still feels like we would need more. Or like stamina recharge would have been nice if it like... If it recharged as quickly as the base stamina did every time you got a new upgrade. So like, proportionately it would charge faster and faster, but the total time would be the same. Where's my bike? Did I lose it? Yeah, Simoon is like sulking somewhere. I think she's down here. Somewhere. Just because I've been away from her for too long, I guess. Yeah, she just doesn't care anymore. Is a name? Yeah. You get a name, like, as soon as you get her. All machines have names in this world, I guess. At least according to the machinists. So, let's see. Well, it opens again. Yeah, this is gonna take a while, but I gotta know. We gotta see. If that final area, like, resets the water level, or if it'll be glitchy. Shortcut! Nice! I think we can shortcut here as well by just using only one. If I just put this one in, I should be able to just rush through. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, there's something in here for, like, specifically here for some reason that just makes the audio, like, stutter so much.
Did I go in that big room above and behind me? Uh, I don't know what room that would be, but I'm not sure I care to check. I think I've done everything. I'm pretty sure it's very linear, like there are no rooms going back in that sense. One with a big entrance? I mean, that's where I just came in from. That's like over here, if that's what you mean. Like this place, that's where I came from. Right? Or did I come from underneath? I was pretty sure I came from there. Because, yeah, like, how else... How do we even... How would we trigger this one? I don't think you can with that. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. So I, I don't see how you could go in there. Yeah, that would just be weird. That was weird. Yeah, no way. Hold on, let's see if I can do something here. Ah, damn it. I want to like land and then try and crouch, but I don't think I can really time that. Not high enough. I mean, I, I don't see any way you could go in here, so I doubt this is anything. No. Oh! Didn't see that these were hollow. Okay, never mind. I guess you can do something here. That's incredibly sneaky. For 20 cuts. Wow. So worth it. Jesus. I feel like that could have been like the die or something, instead of the die just being in a random spot for no reason. At least have that be like a special item. Oh, damn it. Well, I guess in that case it was worth going back in, even if this turns out to be nothing. Totally worth it for 20 cuts. Yeah, isn't this where it would be? I guess the water just, like, receded. Yeah? Okay. So that was pointless. It just seemed like the water was gonna permanently be raised all the way to the top. And that, like, 
if you got back in here, it would just be underwater. But I guess they did think of that. So, there we go. Worm complete. Now I guess we go back to Ekria. Was there something else I was going to do? Have we been to Chum... Chum Mom? I think I still need more, right? Hello, Simoon. Nice of you to join me. Oh god, I'm just squishing around with this. I thought that was just me running around inside the worm, but now I brought the worm everywhere. Oh, I do! Deliver eggs! Oh. Oh, that's weird. I guess I haven't hit, like, a threshold. So, sure, I can deliver eggs, but you need to deliver, like, a specific amount to get a reward. Okay, never mind. So, yeah, let's go to Atomic Heart. Isn't that, like, the name of the developer or something? What is Atomic Heart again? I don't I don't know if I want to alt-tab. This game is always, like, finicky with alt-tabbing. Just to be safe. What is Atomic Heart? Oh no, that's that, that game with the titty robots. Yeah, I see. I knew it felt familiar. Alright. Now what do we have here? Giant generator. And a chum. I don't have the chum mask on, but I kind of want to have this for a little bit. Also, we gotta make the best looking worm set possible. I mean, this kind of works, I guess, because of like priest, the cult of the worm. Or just this one. We could just make the most hideous set possible. I mean, I guess this would just fit. I guess it would just be this. But otherwise... Like this one. Do we have any trousers that like made really weird sounds? Or something? There we go. This is the worst possible fashion. And we got... Squishing sounds and crystal noises. That looks cool. Hold on, I'm getting the screenshot. The thumbnail. One of these will work. Oh. So a chum. Atomic shell die. And the coat like blows in front of you too. Just showing your ass. It's lovely. The peak of fashion. We jump down. Plain as day, clue smashed glass. One can see that the high window has been smashed, and it's wide enough for any grown person to make their way inside. Though they'd need to be quite athletic, most of the glass is on the outside of the chamber. It may have been smashed from inside. Uh huh. So that kind of seems. Seems like... Oh my god, please stop. Seems to imply the climber, dude. Did it? There's a clump of feathers on the floor. Strange. Large feathers. I tried to picture the bird large and powerful enough to carry away the power core and decide that it is one suspect I can... 
It is one suspect I can absolutely rule out, so I would very much like to see it. Uh-huh. Spark shoot out from the wires around the socket, but the damage to the empty socket itself is non-existent, non as far as I can tell. Empty socket. The culprit took good care in removing the core. It makes sense. If I were to steal something so valuable, I would be delicate too. But why the torn up cables? It looks almost staged to me. Hold on. Where was the battery? There. And that's just for going out. All right. A little quick hump. Power to the people. Return power to Ecria. I guess we might as well just teleport back instead of driving back. Does anyone say anything down here? No. Looks like everyone's buzzing again. Power's back. Fancy some fresh fruit? What's going on? Heard a glider got the power back up and running. Good news for everyone. We need the townies to stay, stay calm if we want to live out here in peace. Goodbye. I don't have anything to sell. I'm just hoping we don't really need more money at this point of the game. Town is back up and running now. People seem much happier. I sell plenty of bike parts here, but I hear there's a machinist at the Seven Sisters station in Hakoa who has been investigating using some more volatile technology for powering bikes. I guess that's the, like, lightning thing. I thought the tea prices would come back down, now power is back, but the merchants still haven't lowered the price. This is a disaster! Just a reminder, there's a dude in the wall to the left you probably forgot about. I mean, not really. Like, this didn't seem to be anything, if you mean this thing. Right? It's just gone. Like, I think we're just done with the whole mask thing. Or, did you mean something else? Sand dip. Ah, glider, you did a brilliant job getting the power back on. I don't know if you could hear it, but there was a tremendous noise. The whole town was delighted. All in a day's work. Your work is appreciated and you are valued. Now, he leans in, how about our little investigation? Any useful evidence? Uh, discuss physical evidence. What did you find when you searched the heart? The window was smashed. I tell him that the window to the control room of the heart was smashed open, and that it's presumably how the culprit got inside. But, no, you said it smashed from the inside out. Which kind of makes it seem like it's maybe like staging? Or a framing, that climber dude? But it actually was the one that like had access and could just walk in? 
yeah, I guess that's what it's actually gonna be. It is the, like, machinist that's trying to frame the climber or something like that. Not sure what the feather is about, though. I tell him about the feather I saw on the floor of the heart and suggest that the culprit may have left it behind. I say it might have been an accident, and then I pause a moment with some drama and whisper that it could also be a calling card. Sandip crosses his arms, nodding furiously. What did you find when you searched the heart? There was no damage to the socket. I explained that the socket to the core was in perfect condition, flawless even to one such as myself, who is decidedly not an expert. I posit that whoever removed the core knew what they were doing and didn't want to damage it. Sandip seems to like the sound of this. Yeah, I feel like the feather is just to frame the guard and the window being smashed is to frame the climber, but it's actually the machinist because they could get in using the key card and just knew how to get the core out. So I, I'm not sure. I guess, like, a guard wouldn't be anyone here. I mean, I mean maybe Merchant Iria. Yeah, he owed money, I guess. He had the security code and key card. What about the smashed window? Yeah, I, I have an idea for that, but... Can't do it. I guess I'm just gonna go for it. Who's the culprit, then? I'm gonna accuse Hamza. I detail how Hamza owed- Oh, take that! Point the finger at a sub subject. Suspect. I detail how Hamza owed money to the merchants. How he had stolen the core and tried to construct a scene in the Atomic Heart. He sold the power core in the Serai market, but not before his workshop had been ransacked. Our own machinist. I can't believe it. That scoundrel. I'll go and arrest him immediately! I'll be taking him to the jailhouse outside of town. After that, the witnesses can adju adjudicate his fate. Thanks for your help. One last thing for your troubles. I guess that doesn't even matter? I don't know if you can, like, know if you got that right or not. Hmm. Yeah, just, I decided it was Hamza. Guards have feathers, but there was no guard. It was a machinist, a climber, or the merchant. None of those have feathers. There was no way to accuse a guard. Yeah, that's nothing at this point. And I guess we should go and check, like, is the Machinist actually gone from here? I mean, it almost seems like... oh god. Oh no, Simoon, please. It almost seems like maybe it's just open-ended, and it's supposed to be like you can make a case for any of them, so just pick whichever one you think it is. And it doesn't actually matter, there is no right answer. Yeah, that's closed down now. Huh. I don't know if there were, were any, like, chests or something in there. don't remember. Like, if you had missed those. Yeah, can't get back in. Not quite the jump I hoped for. Imagine what could have happened if the power had stayed off much longer. I think I would have had to leave town. People are saying it was the merchant, but the machinist is the one that did it. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense too, that she paid someone to do it, but... I don't think we can do anything about that now. Like, if I quit now, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be after that, like it auto-saved. I guess let's try it, but I assume it's... 
it's saved already after that choice. But yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any any point to it, getting it right. Yeah, it's just after after doing that. So that's fine. I mean, he was technically the culprit. Just paid by someone to do it. Oh, the power's back on. Did you do that? The Mafia boss always gets away. I don't think I've been here. Fabric seller Kalia. Welcome to Kalia's Clothing. How can I help you today? Yeah, I, I never went here. This is Kalia Clothing, and this is my shop. I'm Kalia. I, have, I sell clothing. I came to Ekria during my gliding and saw a little run-down leather shop here. Nobody cared for it, and I couldn't help help strike a deal with the old owners to take it off their hands. Now I'm still learning the trade, but the locals and travelers seem to like what I'm selling. I even started selling some traditional Ekrine, Ekrine clothing recently. If you wear it around here, I'm positive the Ekrines, Ekrines, Ekri... Wait, it's Ekria, so... Wouldn't it be like Ekrians, but Ekrines? will take you as one of their own. I don't know if I can afford it. I can, just barely. A green top. I didn't read it. Let's just read all of it later. Oh, my poor money. So we got, I guess, no masks from that. Only clothing. Oh, whoops. Oh, no. Damn it. Hold on. Let's get something else just for the, like, fashion sake. Just so I can see what they actually look like. So, a cream top. A sophisticated look suitable for a city dweller. It's not particularly practical, but I can feel a certain confidence whilst wearing it. A simple pair of trousers worn in the Ekrine style. Great for an evening city stroll down by the oasis, or for relaxing at the Overhang Cafe. So that's what they look like. And then Scrapper Top. Top worn by expert scrappers with convenient gear for collecting scrap and exploring the abandoned ships of Midden. Bottoms designed it for with ship exploring in mind. Cool, we got dual katana things, or like Psy or whatever they're they're called. Maybe that could look cool with something else, I feel. Not a fan of the giant backpack. And not really a fan of those balloon shorts. Didn't I get something else? Sand Surfer? No. That wasn't new, was it? Beetle Station Top. A hooded top worn by the Beetle Station owners throughout the dunes. I can't help but feeling... I can't help feeling a sense of familiarity and safety when wearing one. Soft and luxurious, they remind me of a good night's sleep. Yeah, it's just pajamas. Do we have anything that would, like, remove the, the hoodie? Yeah, some of them do. I kind of like that. Great. I mean, just like, for actual fashion's sake, probably something like that is the best. Maybe the guard mask. Yeah, just like this. Kind of like this look. Sure, let's do that for a second. Any cuts to spare? No. I already gave you like 400. I'm not sure where to find glow worms exactly. 
You said something about pomegranates? Okay. Yeah, I guess this is just a done deal. Nothing else to do about it. I don't know if we can go to, like, the, the prison cell. Huddled children giggle as I approach, the way children do. You're never quite sure whether they are entertained, nervous, or mocking. I decide not to let myself feel judged. You're a glider. How do you know? I saw your bike. We can tell by your clothes. I'm psychic. You kids are smart. Do you want to play a game with us? Sure. The game is hide and seek. Do you know it? I played quite a bit. I used to play with a young friend of mine back home. They don't seem particularly interested in the story. I've never felt so old. How old is Sable anyway? She seems like, I mean, I guess coming of age, probably like 15, 16? I don't know. Good, you're it. We'll go and hide and you have to find us. I tell them to wait. Once I, the great worldly wise glider, cunningly track them down, how can I call them out if I don't know their names? Ha, ah, don't be so sure you'll find us. This is our town, remember? I'm Paula, Jeff, and Nez. Fucking Jeff. I tell them my own name, then Paula points at me. Are you ready, Sable? You have to close your eyes and count to 100. No peeking and no skipping. And count slowly. That's a very high number. Uh-huh. One hundred. All right, sure thing, let's go do this. Time to find some kids. Found one. Oh, you found me. Are you sure you counted all the way to 100? I bet Jeff is gonna be the last one. Oh, got some stuff. I wonder if one of them will be, like, up high. Probably not. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Like, this is a good quest for finding if you're missing anything, yep. Anything in the city, since you have to be, like, observant about every little corner. Missing chests and chums and stuff. Yep, she's here. Ness, I, you did find me. I told you Jeff would be the last one. Fucking Jeff. Hey, I saw you get that flower over there. It's amazing. You're such a good hoverer. Can't wait for my gliding. I want to hover too. I look down at the child. Yep, I always do. Before me, as they bob with excitement. And tell them that their gliding will be on them, on them sooner than they know. And that then they'll be able to pick as many oasis flowers as they like. That's in forever. I need a flower now. Could you maybe give it to me, please? Please... It's mine, I'm afraid. Please, I really want it! Okay, fine. I hand them the flower and they squeal with delight. I expect it to be a little bug or some dirt or possibly an old, old toy, but instead they produce an entertainer's badge. Oh, interesting. Here, you're really nice, so you can have this. I asked if they wouldn't prefer to hang on to it. There's plenty of use for such things. Later, I get a shake. I get a shake of the head. 
I think this one's for you. I'll get my own one day. I'm sure you will. How did you get that one, though? Okay, so I guess maybe the hide-and-seek will also give you an entertainer badge. Not sure about the final one, then. Probably also here in Ecria somewhere. Look at the swirling pools of water, the glistening surface of liquid dancing and reflecting light. Artist Costas. Inspiring. I can't tell if he's talking to me or himself. I leave him be. See, so always said artists were an odd sort. Hmm. Now, where would this kid be hiding? Maybe they're all kind of around the same sort of region or area. I guess he wouldn't be hiding in here. Yeah, so one was in there, one was up here. If it's like in the same sort of area, what other games do you know? Hide and seek is so boring. We should play something else. I'm sure Jeff is having the time of his life. I don't know if he would like hide indoors. And here's the cafe I never checked out. This is Rita, the owner of the Overhang Cafe. Goodbye. That seems like we're gonna do something at the cafe at some point, maybe? Nope. Maybe not. And meet a chime maker called Ion. Man, there's a lot of stuff I didn't do. Ah, you have that. Wait, maybe these were all closed down or something, and that's why I didn't go in before the power? I don't know. You have the husks that Aoife promised me. Oh, maybe this was open. Okay, that was that. Great quest. No, this was definitely closed, right? He looks too busy to interrupt. Watching him work is mesmerizing. Sands from different parts of the world forming different colors, textures, and strength of, strengths of glass. Good luck, man. Where the hell is Jeff? Oh god, I just got some like massive boost somehow. Even though I was like jumping perpendicular to it? Or parallel, rather? I don't know what just happened, but I, like, went flying. Maybe we should climb up top again? Oh. Can't stand up there, I guess. If you were a Jeff, where would you hide? That's the question. Just a glitching child over there. No big deal. 
Yeah, we already checked here. I would have thought it was like near the, the pier or something. Everyone's just glitching into corners. Bless Rohana, the power came back online just in time. I had two early stage babe two early stage babies in wombs that could have run out in days. What? Run out? Shar Varana introduces herself. She is the Atomic Priest in Ekria. The Atomic Priest leans forward in a way they must think is inviting. And I suppose they are right, because here I am. Lighter, we have a task for you if you're able, and interested of course. Man, there's a lot of quests here. I didn't expect that. I thought we were like, almost done with Ekria. Lighters tend to be in interested in tasks. I've never known quite how to feel about the Atomic Priesthood. Yeah, are we just gonna become a priest now? As a child, I had been both fearful and fascinated. I guess there's something to that, like, the well? We haven't done that. Maybe that's related to this or something. Uh, watching them go about their mysterious business and making up all kinds of things about them in my head. Today I understand that they're an order like any other, only more severe, more insular, insular? And dedicated to collective caution in a way that increasingly feels more like paranoia than reason. Still, I do mostly like a task. Are you familiar with Lore the Fabulist? I, I am the Fabulist. I tell the priest I've never heard of Lore the Fabulist. And this is the perfect task for you, because you will know Lore the Fabulist at its end. Sounds reasonable, I ask what the task is. We need to find Lore, and when you do, convey that we would like to invite her back to Ekria. We miss her. Quite a lot, in fact. It sounds so menacing, coming from a random, like, sect. It may be the most emotion I've heard from a member of the priesthood, and it seems quite legitimate. I wonder what sort of relationship Lore has with them. Tell me more about Lore. She has been among our strongest voices, turning warnings into, into whimsy and safety into song. She speaks the language of the common to convey the words of the wise. Perfect, I'm off! Where do you think Lore is? If you aren't sure where to start, it may be wise to speak with innkeepers at the beetle stations. Lore carries our messages all across the world. No, oh, damn it. I wanted to, like, say the other things as well. Never mind. But what the hell, Jeff? What's your problem? Don't know where he could be. Getting some kind of like hint or something would have been nice. Yeah, the kids don't say anything. Yeah, I guess in the sewers and stuff, I, I just assumed that it wouldn't be there, but I guess you shouldn't assume. It just seemed like an unlikely place for a kid to hide. Well, Ekreen guard trousers. Found some pants. Wet pants. Wet, soggy pants. Nice glitchy lighting. Love it. Nope, nothing here.
Yeah, probably not in here. Wonder what happens to the owner of the pants? I guess they just dropped them in the... Like, someone was standing here, maybe shaking a, a pair of pants. Or carrying their, like, pant chest to the wash and accidentally dropped it. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I'm kind of thinking I might just want to look up where the hell Jeff is, because I don't know. Oh my god, there's Jeff. Jesus Christ. Fuck you, Jeff. I thought this was a really good hiding spot. You're smart for a grown-up. You just have to complain sometimes. You found the others first? Yes, that means I win! The real victory is the fun you have with your friends. No. I found y'all doesn't mean I win. No, I don't think so. I definitely win. Anyway, you're pretty fun for a grown-up, so you can have this badge. You need three of these, and then you can wear the entertainer's mask. Great. As I leave, I feel a small pang in my heart. I miss Saima and the rest of my clan. Rest of the clan. I wonder what she'd think of me taking up the entertainer's mask. Alright, thank god. We're done with that. I don't know, like, what the entertainer mask would be. Probably not the kids' masks. You can join our gang if you like. Sure. So, let's check the prison quick, I guess. Screw you, kid. Yep, there's the machinist. Stand up says hello. Uh, what do you mean? Can we just say, I made the wrong choice. Let's go someone, or point the finger at someone else. Kind of weird that we can even do this. Someone paid him to do it. Hmm. Profit from the panic. Got someone else to do it. Yeah, I don't know. Kind of weird that we can even do this now. Hold on, I need to be right back. Alright, I'm back. The guy on the wall is a shop that requires the shade mask, but only between 10pm and 6am? How would you know that? Because I've already talked to him with the shade mask. Right? I guess now it doesn't work? Well, almost. Wait, no. No, that should be right, shouldn't it? If it's 5 a.m. now? Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, that's really weird. Rohana's mask. Why is it so, like, janky? I don't recognize this person. The Shade of Ekria. I'm, I'm kind of done... Reading. I've been reading so much today. My voice is kind of leaving me. You left all your gear with Gramps. What? Can I have my stuff back? What? Oh, it's like the Shades stuff, but not technically mine? Firstly, don't fool yourself for a second. I don't know you aren't the original Shade. Your previous incarnation dumped all his gear here with Gramps. You might have been besotted with a shade, but I'm not. No, not one bit. You can't just leave here, stuff here for however many years and I expect to pay at least interest and storage fees. I begin to realize what I initially thought as delight to see the shade was actually delight at the opportunity to empty my wallet. 
I don't have a wallet anymore. God damn it. Why do you need so much money in this game? I farmed so much and yet you still need more and more and more. It's a little too extreme almost. I just, I don't have enough. Oh, I do have enough. Do I? No. I'm missing like 23, right? God damn it. Well, I guess we'll take the bike. Surely I can sell something here. I guess the pomegranates. Oh boy, my poor money. It was just, just in time. Yeah. All right, so now we got that set. Trousers worn by the shade of Ekria before I was even born. They are especially quiet, great for sneaking on, up on unsuspecting guards. Shade top, a tight-fitting top that belonged to the original shade of Ekria. It is fabric. A fabric material under the arms used to create a unique, imposing silhouette. Yeah, very unique and imposing. It's just grey. Gotta love the lighting. Oh, that's kinda cool, though. We have, like, a, a squirrel suit? Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to wait for color to come back. So, was there anything else to do here in Ekria? I guess not. I think I've I've talked to everyone and done everything. Yeah, it definitely looks better there. Also, why do I have that mask? Well, let's go back to the chum mask. That even looks kind of decent. Alright, let's check out this well thing. What this might be. Thieving magpie well. You know, there's chums around. Guess you can't get in here? Oh yeah, I forgot to check the bike parts. Yeah, that makes sense if we're like... Oh. Pretty much done with that. I don't think there would be many other places that could have... Costume pieces and bike parts. Maybe some like random chest. Maybe some die. What's this music? I like the little, like, puff on my back. Oh, it's this music. I don't know. Oh yeah, made from Hakoan metals, the lightness of these metals is unparalleled, allowing nimble movement and strong resistance in combat. Hmm. 
nothing quite works. Yeah, I have both of the Ecreen Guard things. We got the top, like, a long time ago, I think. Wait, no. No, I don't have the top. Yeah, so I guess I'm missing that. Is that also in Ecrea somewhere? Hmm. I guess we'll just keep this for now, but... I don't love it. There's a chum as well. Can't climb up here. Still can't. I don't think this is how you're supposed to do it. Definitely not the way you're supposed to do it. Ah, and I don't know if I can. Yeah, I think you're just supposed to, like, jump from up here or something. This is going to be a bit of a climb. I love those six notes over and over and over and over. Doesn't seem like there's anything else here. Hmm, hold on, let's get a little more height just to be safe. I feel like I would want to switch out the top specifically. The bottoms kind of work. I like this one if I didn't have the hood. Like, this looks good if we can not have the hood, but at the same time, I want to have the chum mask. So yeah, like this again. Looks pretty good. But I guess I'll have the chum mask for now. Just because, yeah, there's more chums here. Probably down below. Yeah, somewhere down here. Right there. Hmm. I should check if there's anything else that fits this. I mean, that's not too bad. Or this. Or that, honestly. That kind of works. I don't think I've used the Atomic Priest stuff, like, much, because it looks so bulky and weird. But I guess it kind of works with this. Eh. Sort of. Maybe. I don't know. Interesting music right now. Don't think I can get this. Oh, shaded leaf butterfly. This is poop.
Looks like it's a couple levels down, probably. This chum. a weird area. The music's giving it a very like eerie feel. The chum is like above me. I guess it's in one of these locked areas, probably. Oh wait, it's like really close here. I don't know, maybe above or below? There it is. How many is that now? Do you remember, like, how many I needed for the next Chum Mom threshold? Was that 120? Or something else? Oh, hello. I guess this is where we get a climber badge. I only have two, right? Yeah, this is probably the final climber badge. Stepwell Dragonfly. Isn't that new? Like, I've collected everything. All the bugs and stuff. But I don't recognize that. Might be a decent place for money if these sell for an amount. No dragonfly collections? I thought they just like counted in the same like bugs and butterflies. Oh, he hurt his leg. Please help! Micah's voice is ragged and he has the look of someone who's just spent who spent just slightly too long down a well, a little sandy and tattered. What were you thinking coming down here? I don't know, I wasn't thinking, I suppose. I'm just glad you come when you did. Bashir sent me. Oh no. Why is that bad? I was so stupid with him. Just arrogant. Rude. He's always telling me to be more careful, not to go off hunting alone. And I'm always so silly with him. So pointless, but I always feel like I have to prove something. Like the more he tells me to be careful, the less I want to. But it's for no reason. You want to know the next Trumpeteer? Yeah, if, if it said or... Did she not say that? But yeah, I would like to know that, if you know. I'm just being difficult for the sake of it. Don't be so hard on yourself. Yeah, sure. I don't know what gets into me. I'm just a big stupid child who can't... I tell Micah we can't dwell on this right now. No, not enough to make my way out of here, at least. It's why I dragged myself over here, thinking I might use the crane. But I can't access the controls. I wonder aloud if I could access the controls, and Micah digs around in his pockets until he finds what he's looking for. A key. He holds it up. I found this key. It should let you in. From there you can use the crane. I'm sorry I can't help more. I feel so useless. Thank you, Sable. You're really very kind. Ha have I told him my name? Who is this guy? I tell him it's no matter and that he isn't us useless, and then I take the key and go. Free key. Sucker. She didn't say it, but yeah, I, I don't mind knowing that, just so we know, like, when to go back to her. 
It was like 130, 135? 130, yeah. That makes sense. So yeah, we're quite a ways off then. Assume we have to do one more, right? Micah bounces a little. Sable, yes, whatever you did there, it seems to be working. Keep at it. And I wonder what happens if we just skip that and just went up to the top. Also, speaking of skipping. Shortcut. Yeah, this top looks too, like, clunky for me, with this collar. Maybe either lever only does, like, half of it or something. Sable, how can I ever thank you? I wouldn't say no to a little token. No, go home and apologize. Oh, I will, I will. I'll be apologizing to Bashir for days. He deserves it, and I'll try not to worry him again, ever. But I do want to at least give you something. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to go back to Five Bell's camp. Should be fine. Walking's a little easier than climbing right now. You're my savior, Sable. If you ever decide to become a climber, you've got my endorsement. Take care, alright? Bye. He just, like, walks, walks on out. Could have done it himself. But oh no, he was too... too hurt. Poor Micah. So where was that guy? Bashir? I don't even remember where we got that quest from. Uh, I also forgot to see, like, what the quest was called. There we go. Bashir at Five Bells Camp. Oh, right. Yeah, that was over here. Uh. Where was it again? It was somewhere, like, here or something? Right there. Yeah, this is Thieving Magpie Well. What about it? Is there something hidden? There's something hidden there? Alright, I'll have to go back. I can't thank you enough for your help there. Glider, I wish I was still on my gliding. Being a grown-up is terrible. Well, I guess we can't do anything else. Was this Bashir? Oh, nice. Hmm. I'm not sure where it would be hidden. Maybe in the ceiling somewhere.
It's not like past these vines or something. Is it down below? Like now that we've raced up the lift? Doesn't look like it. Nothing here. Oh, I see it. Yeah, it's kind of sneaky. A green guard, perhaps? Yeah, a green guard top, I see. Worn by the guards of Ecria, provides protection against physical attacks whilst retaining mobility. I don't believe it does pr provide protection against physical attacks. I'm gonna call you call you out on that. That's pretty bullshit. Yeah, protection from physical attacks, by the way. No such thing as like a gut stab in this world. Yeah, not sure I love it either. Yeah. Not a huge fan. I wonder if we can make something look good with this. I mean, maybe. That kind of works. That's not bad either. That sort of works as well. I guess this for more weapons. That's not too bad either. And this kind of fits the color theme, but it clips. You know, like, that's that's not terrible. Then we get this little puffy thing on the back. Yeah, I kind of like that. Alright, so there we go. Now what? I don't know why this is even marked. I'm pretty sure it's nothing. Let's just go here. I guess I'll just like check my quests. What else do we have? The priest thing. Mass caster. Mass caster. Glow worms. Seven sister station. And then just all of the stations. So I guess let's like do this one. But let's go to burnt oak and marrow bone first. Oh yeah, the only thing I don't like about this top is the, like, squirrel suit thing. It looks kind of weird. Like, membrane. Do you know where Lore is? Love her, she's great. Think last I heard she was on her way to the Sodix. Big place. Good place to empty the old thought bucket. Good for you.
Can't tell you where she is right now, but when I saw her, she was looking for the sleeping singers. They're a set of stone whales. Can't miss them. Hmm? Stone whales? I think I've read that before. Yep, this is how I talk to her. Do you know where Lore is? I haven't seen her in ages, like actual years. I think at the time she was following the path of the archer. Do you know where I can find glowworms? I don't, I'm afraid. The innkeeper might know. Who's the innkeeper? I don't know if there's an innkeeper here. But I guess we'll go cast some masks. Where was that again? It was like down below, I think? Right there, I think. Might as well. I'm gonna need the money. We should collect everything we can. Climbing mask. Time to look like a gecko. Or chameleon or whatever. And I guess we got this weird, like, bug again. Is it just gonna be permanently blue again when we get out? I think it's just something about going into one of these places when it's, like, a specific time of day or whatever. Yeah, we're working on our camouflage. Huh? What happened with the audio? It was just one note. Isn't that, like, usually more? Alright, climber mask. Hold on, let's see if it's... Is it bugged? No. I guess this is... Is it supposed to look like that? I don't know why it looks so weird in this station, then. But I, I think it did bug out that last time, right? Where, like, it looked like that and then it didn't change back when I left. I don't know what that sound is. No, I, I guess... Is that just how it's supposed to look every time? I don't remember it looking like this every time we mass cast. It's almost a shame the chum mask works the way it does, because, like, you have to use it, so I'm just gonna have it on forever. It would have been nice if it was just, like, a chum badge or something that you got, just, I don't know, maybe just on the navigator screen or something? I don't know, just, just anything else so you could actually, like, have cosmetics or just make it, like, a vanity thing where... I guess that wouldn't work, like, where you could have other stuff on top of it. I don't know. 
it kind of like limits the uh, customization. But I guess even more more than that is like the bike part stuff, because all of the bike parts are like kind of trash, except for the couple of sets that are actually decent. So there's like no point using many of the parts. You can't help but feel embodied by a reptilian creature when wearing this mask. Walls look less steep somehow. I don't love it. We got the floppy rooster thing. Whatever you call that. And the merchant mask. The mask all the merchants in Midden wear. Don't love that either. Just another look here. I do kind of like that, how it like snuggles up the chum mask and makes it like smaller. Yeah, nothing quite works. Except maybe like these two. But I don't know, it's clashing a little bit. Oh boy, I don't want to change this up because I just got my color scheme in, but... It would be nice if you could, like, save sets or something. Like, save this set with the colors as my A set, and then go to B and do something else. Because, yeah, I just want to check those bikes we got. The Shade bike. Good acceleration and handling, but worse max speed. Doesn't seem that bad. Oh god, it seems terrible. Never mind, it sucks. Yeah. And it's creepy as shit. And the audio is glitchy. Extremely glitchy. Yep. Don't like that. Alright, I'm just gonna like get my bike parts back, but then I'll just fix that like in between streams, I guess. Uh, so yeah, this one, and then two speedster, right? Yeah, I mean, I think I'm kind of ready to, oh, to call it quits for today. So I guess next time we'll have to find like glow worms and stuff. I don't know what, what she was talking about, like the innkeeper might know. What innkeeper? And did we get an update on that? On the quest log? Find her. Some were desolate, some were vast. Sodic wastes. Sleeping singers. Path of the Archer, I see. So it's a bit of a riddle, I guess. Ask around. You think there was an inn below? Well, I guess I'll check that next time. For now, let's leave it off here. I'm just getting way too tired. So yeah, doesn't look like we have too much left in terms of like quests and progression. We can probably do the ending pretty soon. But then I guess past that point, post game, there's going to be chum hunting. And I don't know if there's like anything else other than just chums. If there's any other collectibles I missed, like significant collectibles. But how would you know, really? I guess it's just cosmetics and bike parts and stuff. But yeah, we'll see. Tomorrow I'm probably, uh, I'm considering doing a couple more like random horror games, like maybe some Ken Forest stuff, but I haven't really planned much, so I'm not sure I have like an entire evening planned. We'll see, I suppose. Worst case scenario, I might just do some more like cross-code completion. We'll see. Good night.